guys, this is Honey, and welcome to The Discipline. So the other day, a friend of mine and I were having a chat and the topic of what the point of our lives came up. And I know that the word passion has been thrown around a lot, so I thought I would shake things up a little bit and instead of using the word passion, I would use the word point because I'm sure you've been in a conversation with someone and they're going on and on and on and you're just wondering, what is your point? So I thought we could apply that same theory to our lives. Is your life one big, long, pointless conversation or do you have one big major point or do you have one, a, a lot of small major points or a lot of small mini points, I don't know, whatever. So I thought it would be good to figure out what your point is and perhaps write it down. Now, why is this important? It just is. It's just important. Jeez, you guys need an explanation for everything. I kid, of course there's a reason. In fact, there are five. And now I shall go through them one by one for you in slow motion. Kidding! <laughs> Lol. Meet my little friend Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Here are the five reasons why you need a point in your life. Number one, when you have a point in your life, you're not wasting anyone else's time, especially your own. Without a point in your life, you're just going through the daily motions and then you die. Hmm. Number two, if you don't have a point in your life, then someone else is going to take your pointless little life and make it a point in their life. And essentially, you'll be living by someone else's rules. And nothing sucks more than living according to someone else's rules. Ask any teenager. Number three, having a point in your life, and even if it's just a point for now, and it changes as you grow and change as a person, which is perfectly fine, it's still better than having no point at all. In all. <laughs> is still better than not having a point at all. This means that you have something to work towards. It drives you and not only makes you passionate, it means you have a purpose in life. And when you have a purpose in life, it is so much harder to knock you off your feet. Number four, having a point in life gives you a feeling of accomplishment that no one else can ever give you. Think about the times where you have done something that pushes you or brought you closer to your goals. How did that feel like? Great. Hmm. <laughs> it's my orgasm face. <laughs> I didn't just say that. Number five, if you have a point in life, it just makes you that much cooler. Okay, fine, I lied. There is no number five, but I figured four points to having a point haha, is good enough. So if you do have a point, perhaps you want to share it with me and everyone else and just write it down in the comments below or not, like I care, yeah. Well, or if you don't have a point, then in my next video, I'll teach you how to make a bliss list, which is a list that I make in order to figure out all the points in my life, because I have many. I'm one of those people that have many major points in my life. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you like my videos. If you have subscribed, good on ya. You can now follow me on Twitter instead. Ha! <laughs> this is Honey from The Discipline. Look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.